So let's continue on the video idea for top 10 items in Realm. Hello guys, it's Migloff back again and welcome to this top 10 robes in Realm of the Mad God. I thought of making an armor video since I've done some type of weapon, event wise, which is mostly abilities and then of course the ring video. If you want me to cover another armor or weapon just write a comment down below and that's a good suggestion hopefully. Check out my 4000 gold giveaway down in the description if you want to take a shot at getting some free gold. So let's start with the honorable mentions. Well there aren't that many different unique robes and most of the SD ones are just like each other but here are some notable robes to not sleep on. Robe of the Star Mother. Well since there are a better tier of a robe I thought of not having it taking a spot from a more unique robe. A very average robe that does the job, I would say, about the Star Mother. It's decent. Robe of the Mad Scientist. Well, this isn't the best robe by any mean, but I just had to include it uh, as a little homage to the OG times when you played Mad Labs all day. And that was the hardest dungeon. I mean, this robe is one of the most classic robes, I would say. Doing a PP and getting a white bag in Mad Lab, hoping it wasn't a golden screw or not, and it was a Mad Rob and an Expo. OG times, man. Number 10 Oceanic Apparel. This robe is one of the most recent robes on the list, and it's one of the robes with the most speed bonus. And it also gives 55 HP, but the problem is the 8 defense. This robe isn't really optimal for me at least. Though the 55 HP is nice, I would not have this robe on me since it gives only 8 defense. I would have liked a little bit more defense, but I guess it, for it being the set bonus it can be at 8 defense. Number 9. Soulless Robe One of the most famous SG robes in the game, really. But what is a top 10 list video without an overduped item like Pixie Sword or Ring of Decades? This robe offers a whopping 60 HP and 15 defense. That's it. That's everything. Unfortunately, you don't get any wisdom or mana like almost all the other robes, which makes it, uh, I would say, a number 9 spot. There are better robes out there like Star Mother or others if you think generally, but I still like the robe since it is quite easy to get on a PP in the beginning and it increases your survivability in harder dungeons like let's say shatters or fungal or, or x3 unfortunately it doesn't give anything more than hp and defense and that makes it just like a meh survivable survivability robe number eight water silk robe this robe gotta be the coolest robe in the game right the glowing light blue color is insane and it makes my it my favorite robe sprite wise this robe gives 2 less speed than the oceanic apparel and has 6 attack which is really really nice. 12 defense is 4 more than the oceanic apparel and 3 wisdom. Since robe classes has the lowest max speed in the game, this robe is really nice combination of a lot of attack and speed which increases your survivability in orcs 3 for example. I've spoken very highly in all my top 10 videos about items giving you speed and talking about how it increases your chances of surviving in Orcs 3 since you need a lot of speed. I wouldn't run uh, uh, Orcs 3 on a wizard with uh, let's say 50 speed because that is just too slow for me and most of the times I will die of me being too slow. And I got it, it's on the list because it has the best sprite in the game, right? Number 7 Robe of the Twilight. This SD robe from Shatters has a really cool combination of stats. It gives you 60 HP, which is, which is as much as the Soulless robe, but has better stats than it. 50 MP and 10 defense is alright, I guess, but what gives it a little bit of a higher placement is the 3 speed you get. Even though 3 speed is not a lot, if you are exalted you will have a speed bonus of 8, which is really notable from 5 I would say. If you have a snake eye ring, while well, using that you will double your bonus from the robe and you will have as much, uh, as much speed as the water silk robe. But if you would look for a speed robe, I would say go for the oceanic apparel or water silk robe. 
but I think this has a really nice combination of 60 HP and 3 speed, which is really nice in Orcs 3, because you also need a lot of HP in Orcs 3, for example. Number 6, Shandit of Geb. Trust me, I, I really like this robe, and it's one of my favorite robes in the game. You get 25 HP, 25 MP, which is at least something, 15 defense, which were a lot before uh, for a robe when G Shark was the best tiered robe. But you get 7 Wisdom and 7 Vitality too, which is really nice now after the Vital Combat update when Vitality and Wisdom has become more impactful. If I would, would have made this list 3 years ago, I would have made this as the second or even the best robe in the game. But now with more STs or 3 UTs and better tiered items, this has to be lower ranked, which is kinda sad. The sprite is very unique and I like it very much and it, it's a banger of robe, to be honest. Hello guys, it's me, Adglef here. If you haven't watched Pronsias Part 2 P and PE, it's down in the description and I recommend it because it's a very nice video. On to the next one. Number 5, Anointed Robe. The highest ranked SG robe on the list is the Anointed Robe. In my lifetime in Realm, I would say this robe is a recently added robe, but uh, which isn't really new, but I think it's kind of new. This robe is optimal for d DPS minded people. It gives 13 defense, 20 MP and 2 wisdom, I guess that's like a G Sork. A little bit less wisdom and mana of course. But the good thing is the 4 attack and 3 dexterity. This is the first so far which actually gives you minus something in a stat. Minus 3 vitality is what you lose by having this robe on you, and I wouldn't say you are losing out on so much, but I guess if you want to have survivability, there are better robes. A nice robe, which is the best DPS robe if you look on the SD robes, and not including the Orcs 3 UT robes. But that's it for number 5. Number 4. Ritual robe. This cultist robe is also a contender for a really nice looking robe. The crazy huge thing about this robe is the insane plus 15 wisdom you get, which is optimal for a sorcerer to get the maximum amount of wisdom to your scepters, or mystic if you want longer buffs from orbs like Orb of Conflict. 50 MP, 5 attack and 12 defense is also a decent amount of stuff, but I put this robe here for the insane amount of wisdom you get and is really impactful for wis modded characters with specific abilities. The Scepter of Devastation is one you get one more hit if you have this robe on you, so it's really useful and especially good for Sorcerer. Number 3. Vesture of Duality. One of the more interesting robes and came with the release of Orcs 3. This robe drops from the most popular miniboss, Lokorx. 12 defense, 10 speed, 5 attack and 40 MP is really nice. Notice something here guys, 10 goddamn speed, that's insane for a robe. This robe is really good just to use for the 10 speed, but on ability use you get an increase of 15 attack, which is also insane, but there is a hook, minus 6 defense. So when you have the ability activated, you get only plus 6 defense from the robe which isn't really optimal, but I use this robe with a tier 15, since sometimes I just want to be more tankier and being able to take some more shots before death. But a really cool looking robe I like, this is probably my top 3 robes, is the Vesture of Duality, Water Silk robe and the Cultist robe, I just like the vibe of them, but that's it for number 3. Number 2, Diplomatic robe. I guess this is kinda controversial, but the Diplomatic Robe gives you greater bonuses. Eleven Defense, which is meh, 50 HP, which is really nice, and 10 Attack, which is really nice. You miss out on any speed, uh, Wisdom or Mana, but when you get hit above 50 HP, your Robe spawns a Dama Portal, which saps enemies for 250 damage in a radius of 5 every 0 0.4 seconds, and lasts for 4 seconds. So that is some extra damage, which is really helpful. Combined with the Cradium, you can spawn over a lot of portals. I really like this robe for the 10 attack and the 50 HP. And the portal you spawn deals 2500 damage in total, which isn't really that much, but in the long run, it's it makes a difference, I would say. Though I would have 
picked Diplomatic Robe as number one. I thought of making the number one spot the generally best because we aren't looking on DPS wise or like top 10 DPS robes or whatever. So I just feel like the number one spot is more balanced, but the Diplomatic Robe is a banger of a robe and I would use it any day over any day over the Vesture of Duality since it gives HP and a lot of attack. Number 1, Rob of the Ancient Intellect. For the long awaited number 1 spot is the new re newly released tiered Oryx robe. I had to dwell a lot between the top 3, but I have this one as the best robe since it gives so many average stats. 17 defense, which is amazing for a robe, 75 MP, 6 attack and 8 wisdom. All really, all really great stat bonuses and it's optimal uh, for all different rogue classes. The insane 17 defense is really nice and makes you have a lot of defense. And the uh, 8 wisdom is almost the same amount as the ritual robe but beats it in attack and defense. Just a really optimal robe for every use and if you get it you better stay alive since it's decently rare from Orcs 3. But that's it for this video, and as I said in the beginning, if you want me to do another armor type or weapon type, just tell me down in the description. Don't forget the gold giveaway as always, and remember to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much to all my YouTube members and Twitch subscribers, which are Lexiflex, Plotipus, and Jared.